Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome back to the lecture series for Tanner. So in this video, we are going to see how we can make an inverter and simulate it. So in the last video, we have seen about uh, how uh, what are the options we are getting in Tanner and how to place the components on the screen. Alright, so now we are going to simulate it. So first of all, I will make an inverter once again. Okay, so that we can see what are these elements that I have added that is the voltages, print voltage and all that. Okay, so I will just create a new inverter from scratch. So for that I am going to keep my this uh, library, new library. In this I am going to add a new cell that is cell new view and here I am going to name the cell as inverter. Alright, so when I click OK, I have here a new cell. Okay, so now to make the inverter, what I need to do is in, I need to add a PMOS and an NMOS. So to add a PMOS, go to generate 250 NM devices and add a PMOS here. Alright, so here is our PMOS and similarly from here only we are going to add NMOS. Okay, so just take the instance and add NMOS. So now we have added both PMOS and the NMOS. Alright, so let me just zoom in a bit. Yeah, so we can see here this is our PMOS and this is our NMOS. Okay, so now uh, what we need to do is we need to add wire. That is we need to connect these two gates in gate inputs and after that we need to add uh, the ground and voltage. So for ground, go to MIS and add GND, just right click and create instance, okay and just paste it here. So this is our ground and this is our input port, okay let it be named in and this is our output port, okay. So now in the previous video we have seen that we have used VDD, so either we can use VDD here and can define the voltage source uh, somewhere else in the schematic or we can directly paste the voltage source here ok so we are going to go to spice sources ok here we are going to search for VDC and I am going to uh, create an instance for that so now here is our VDC now we can paste the VDC uh, attach the VDC directly here or we can uh, put VDC somewhere else and then we can put VDD here that will be one and the same thing ok. So now we will be pasting uh, attaching VDC directly here to do that uh, we need to attach the positive terminal with this terminal ok. So we need to rotate this so to rotate any component you just need to press R ok that is uh, you can press R and rotate it like this. So now I have rotated it and I am going to paste it here. So this is my VDC that I have pasted here and similarly I am going to add another ground to the negative terminal of VDC. So I am going to click instance and here again I need to rotate this. So I have rotated it by pressing R and I have attached it here. So now this we have added the VDC. Now one thing remains that is the input voltage ok that is gate to source voltage that we need to uh, give as well. So for that uh, we need to go to spice sources and here I am going to specify uh, V bit that is uh, the voltage this is basically the digital voltage that is uh, voltage is going in the pattern like 1010 that pattern. Okay, so uh, basically uh, it will be easier for us to analyze in this uh, bit voltage than in AC or DC voltage. So that's why I have chosen this. So I will just paste it here and here using the wire I am going to connect it. So this is to the input and this one is to the ground. So uh, I have connected the voltages, we can see here the pattern which it is going to give is this 01001 and so on, we can change it as well, it's up to us. 
so i will leave it as it is right now okay now one more thing that uh, we have uh, given the input sources we have given the vdc voltage and uh, we have defined everything now one thing that uh, this is the schematic when we need to uh, plot the waveform what happens it will open another tool that is w edit that is going to plot the waveform and uh, the waveform should be printed on it and to print that waveform we have uh, this thing that is in the spice plot here you need to search for voltage you can see here there is v voltage print so we just select instance and this is basically uh, for wherever for, uh, we need to paste it from where we need to print the voltage so i will print first of all the input voltage and then i am going to print the output voltage so i will paste it one on input and one on output so this is our inverter schematic which is completed okay so i will just save it and now i need to set up the simulation so that it can simulate so for that you need to go on to setup and set up spice simulation so first of all before every simulation there is one step you need to follow that is to go on general and here add the library file okay so you just need to click these three dots here and from here you need to browse to documents tanner eda tanner tools and here in the process folders generic 250 nm models and in this models folder you are going to find this generic 250 nm file okay so you need to select this file in this libraries file uh, option okay after adding this file you need to uh, put your cursor here then press space and then write capital t and t like this okay and click okay so now your library is added now next thing you again go to setup spice simulation now you can see in general a library is added and there is this space tt that should be there otherwise your program won't run okay so next thing we need to set up the simulation so here we are going to uh, do the transient analysis so i am going to check mark on this transient analysis so here uh, these are the parameters which i can fill so first of all i am going to fill the stop time as 400 nanosecond and maximum step time i am going to fill 10 nanosecond okay that is uh, overall the waveform is going to run simulation will happen till 400 nanoseconds and there will be the step for 10 nanoseconds on the on the graph so i will just click okay i will not fill any other parameters okay so i will just save the schematic once again and now we need to run our simulation so to run that uh, you can see this green arrow here so you can start simulation from here after starting simulation you need to wait a few seconds first of all you are going to see the uh, t spice file okay it will show if your uh, if your simulation is successful or not so our simulation is successful hence we can see this waveform in w edit that is tanner waveform editor all right so you can see the waveform this in and out are overlapping so we can separate the waveform by clicking here so uh, these are the two options to combine or separate the waveforms like this or we can combine like this all right so here you can see the waveform that is uh, this is the input wave this is the pattern which we have given that is 0 1 0 0 1 0 and so on okay from the v bit and this is the output wave so you can see the here on the x axis there is the 400 n nanoseconds that is the time which we have defined till the time waveform is going to run and uh, there is a step of 10 nanosecond that is this first signal this have a difference uh, 0 to 10 every mark is 0 to 10 20 30 40 and 50 and so on all right so you can see the waveform of an inverter that is when it is input is 0 the output is 1 when the input is 1 the output is 0 and so on so this is how our waveform look like in tanner tools 
So this is how you simulate ten inverter within the Tanner tools. Okay, and this is how you draw a schematic. Similarly, we are going to uh, draw the schematics of various other circuits. Uh, in the next videos, we are going to simulate TMOS and an NMOS as well. Okay, and uh, after that, we are going to move to some complex circuits. All right. So I am not uh, in this lecture series. I am not going to go into the theory of how NMOS uh, and inverter and all the circuits are working uh, because I assume I am assuming that you already know it that much. If you don't know, you can watch uh, the lecture series of DSCH. That will give you pretty basic idea of how a transistor is working, how every uh, circuit is working. All right. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.